heading down to where I place my geocache, which is called Odea. It can be found on the geocaching.com website. Beautiful day today, as you can probably see. Look around. Well off the beaten track here. Um, oh, it is quite a well used footpath at times. Obviously not in this weather. As you can see, I mean we've not seen anybody yet. Plenty of signs of animals. Fox tracks about everywhere. Deer tracks. There's quite a lot of deer around here, which is uh, why I actually named Cash Oh Deer because uh, if you're lucky, you'll see them out and about. I'd say we're just outside Richmond, North York, and uh, making our way down, so we'll head a bit further on. We'll see you down there. again getting towards ground zero now still not seeing anybody on this track um i see plenty of animal activity around here you can hear cock pheasants off in the distance so uh not long now before we're at ground zero so we'll have a look see you down there That over there is the cache site, otherwise known as Ground Zero. We've moved down now into the valley bottom. We have a little stream running through and try and get down here without slipping. So we're in a nice open area here, just outside the trees. This is actually the only area of open ground down here. And that's where we've just come from up there. So uh, let's have a, have a walk over here. Still not seeing a sign of anybody today. Let's uh, head up to the cash site, which is uh, here, just under there. And this is uh, not where the cash is. Let's get into that. There it is. Hidden inside. If you can see across there, that is going to be a new cache site that we're heading down towards now. So uh, we'll keep making our way across there 
and uh, we'll see you over there with a the new cache, let you know a bit more about it. Do I say hello? You wave bye to the camera? Maybe not. Right, we'll see you across there. This here is the site for my new geocache, which is down there, little micro cache. Beautiful spot here. Just a minute ago, there were common buzzards circling over that wood. You can't see them now, but I do know that some nest in that wood. So, uh, we'll get a little out when exposed here. You can probably hear the wind. But, um, yeah, like I say, it's a beautiful spot. Nice walk. There's quite a few geocaches around this area, so uh, you can make a day of it if you wish. Collect my other one, which is uh, just over a half a mile across there somewhere. There's some more just above us on the hill. So, uh, we'll get this one put down, get the location and uh, on the spot. Get it on the geocaching.com website. Hopefully, you'll be the first to find. Right, that's it. The geocache is now placed. The waypoints are marked and logged. We've got all these details put onto the And uh, hopefully, maybe see a few of you around here. And this one shall be named Mind Your Head. Obvious reasons, I do believe. Very good. Right, um, placed the geocache down now. Logged all the waypoints. Uh, making our way back now towards the plantation. Um, like I said before, there's several geocaches actually in this area. Um, we've got one, which is up over there. Uh, in fact, it's probably about half a mile from here. I see you've got my other geocache entitled Oh Dear, which is about half a mile straight through them trees. You have uh, another couple up above this hill as well. So um, yeah, there's, there's a few around here. Make a nice walk. If it's uh, like today, a bit of snow down or if it's wet, then uh, wellies would be advisable, um, especially if searching for mine or the one across there by Wazir, which is entitled If the Cap Fits, because uh, it can be quite boggy, um, especially through the plantation where mine is. But uh, yeah, above there you see you've got open moorland up there, and um, it does get quite boggy in places, so you do have to be careful. Get down here, back through the wall, then make my way up through the wood and back out again. Well, as you can probably see now, we've uh, climbed out of the valley, moving back up into this lot, <laughs> back up through the plantation. Have a, have a walk. That's where we've been. <laughs> and that is where we're heading. So we'll follow this wall line. and uh, make our way back out. You never know. We always see some deer across here as well. It gets much thicker than this once we start going in. Right, here we are, making our way out. This is the way we're going, up that way. This track actually isn't so bad compared to the one that you come down first of all to where my my first geocache site is, titled Odia. Oh Indeed, 
Um, still a bit wet and boggy underfoot, as you could probably hear. Especially with this bit of snow down as well that we've got. So making the going a bit, a bit more difficult than normal. I don't know what you're complaining about. Yeah, you're all right. You just hang fire there, eh? Why can you not carry me at all? Hey? Eh? Do you think I should go on your back? Yeah, whatever. Whatever, Dad, she says, whatever. So, uh, yes, making our way up along here now. A little bit of an incline. That's it, it's uh, very boggy underfoot today.